Hi everyone, it's Shelby. Welcome back to my channel. I finally have the uh, pantry tour you guys requested and I included uh, how I store all my cleaning products and all my laundry detergent stuff. So that's all included in this tour. Here's my pantry. I'm just gonna try to do this all in one shot, hopefully. I have these, I believe they're Rubbermaid shelves on some of the walls. We've had them for several years and I love them. We got them at Lowe's and they're perfect for storing things that you just have like one of. And I'll just kind of scan them. You can get an idea of what I store. The nice thing about these, it makes uh, inventory really super easy because when there's a hole, you need to fill it. <laughs> and then over here, I have some more of these shelves. And um, here's some mint jelly that I canned. Okay, here's an example. I usually have two of the Heinz 57. When I use that one, it's gonna make a big hole in the pantry. So you can kind of see where it's um, make, uh, makes making a, a stock up list real easy because I have everything labeled. Hot sauces, that half gallon container down there is homemade uh, vanilla extract. I have some overflow vinegars and oil there. On this shelf, I have olive oil, red wine vinegar, balsamic vinegar, maple syrup, molasses, honey, olive oil, canola oil, and shortening. And then on the top over here, I have these baskets. I have four of them. One has paper products in it. Another one has bake center overflow, freezer prep. I have freezer bags, um, those aluminum foil containers with the tops on them, all kinds of stuff for making freezer meals in there. So when I do a session, I just pull the basket down and then I have the hot beverage center uh, refill there. And then over here I have some restaurant size item tuna and clams and pork and beans for making baked beans. I have some home canned pinto beans. I have quite a bit of flour on hand. I'm getting ready to do a big freezer session for baked goods, holiday baking, and freezer pizzas. I just need to get to it. And coffee. Normally I keep Fritos and Doritos for walking tacos. We just have Doritos right now. And then I have these gallon peat containers with dry goods. They're three deep. Tomato products. I can tomatoes this year, but this is some of the tomato products I have on hand currently. I want to get back into canning, but my garden this year was such a failure. I did can pickled beets and have those. I have all my canned st stuff pretty much in the root cellar, but Oh, this I really like to have on hand. The red curry paste, the coconut cream, and then Trader Joe's Thai red curry sauce. Those three things together make a delicious dinner. I have my homemade dry rub, and then all the condiments. And when you do this long enough, I have gotten pretty good at knowing how many of each thing I need for the whole year. We go through one of those pretty much a month. Um, peanut butter jams. This is some um, apple cider jelly and this is grape jelly that I canned. And then, oh, dilly green beans. <laughs> and then, you know what, these are some more canned stuff. Brandied cherries. These are so good. You can uh, just put a scoop of ice cream and heat those up and put it on there. It's like cherries jubilee. Those were near cherries in there. Or you could make like a devil's food cake and thicken that up and put it in for the filling and then top it with whipped cream. Delish. 
yeah, I need to get back into canning. But I have a, a basement and um, one section's like a little root cellar. That's where I keep most of the canning stuff when I do can. Like I said, this year I did a lot of tomato products and pinto beans and a little of this and a little of that. I want to get back to canning my own stock um, for sure. It's like a hundred times better. I have a little bit in the freezer, not much. Down here is just some snack stuff. We have um, s'mores stuff because we have a, a campfire we uh, use quite often. There's popcorn, a lot of popcorn flavors. Um, just snacky stuff down there. In these bins down here, I have potatoes. Normally I have a big thing of onions. I'm running low. Shallots, more onions. And then down there are five gallon containers. They store bulk items like rice, flour, sugar, that kind of stuff. When Ken made the shelves, he made it to accommodate these. They have a top that kind of screws on and screws off. So it's real handy to restock the bake center from. I just got this stool not too long ago at Harbor Freight for like, it was less than $20. I love it. Cause I have the herniated discs in my back and it's hard for me to bend over. And I get on this stool and then I can clean all the lower cabinets in the kitchen. Real easy, just kind of scoot around. All right, I have all of my pastas here for the whole year. And right there, I have that salad supreme for making pasta salad. Up here I have Asian inspired ingredients. I don't keep too much of any one thing on hand. I just, here I have some um, grains, quinoa, couscous, wild rice, that kind of stuff. I have some Louisiana things, more pasta. <clears throat> have my apron over here behind the door. <clears throat> I'm gonna go all the way to the top. Hot sauces, tahini. Once I get through these canned beans, then I'm gonna start canning my own again. I have some Mexican things here, like a um, little bit of red enchilada sauce. I like making my own, but sometimes you know you're in a hurry. It's nice to have a can or two on hand. I have the hatch green chilies different salsas. Down here I have all of my dried chilies and husk for making tamales. And then this is my shopping bag. I just take this when I go to the grocery store so we don't have to use reuse plastic. Oh, and I got these recently. I don't think I've shared them with you. There was a $5 off coupon on Amazon for these produce bags. It's a pretty big bundle, so I pick those up. Anyway, that's the pantry. Got all my cleaning products put away. I keep my laundry detergent and, uh, you know, cleaners, little spot cleaners, um, bleach and the stuff in these drawers under the washer and the dryer. It's pretty convenient. This is how I store my spices. You guys might remember when I went to that um, Amish country store and got a lot of spices for real cheap. I have them alphabetized and I have them on these shelves that uh, Ken did. And then up top I have some frequently used packets. I have a little bit of Sloppy Joe's and then behind it I have Aju packets for that Mississippi roast. And then I just has, have some salad dressing mix and I guess taco seasoning. And then to the left of the stove, I just have like a hodgepodge of stuff. Some of it I'm just trying to use up. Some of it's like Worcestershire Sire's <laughs> sauce. And then up here in these three baskets is like overflow for the spice jars. So that's how I do my spices. It's convenient to have it right here by the stove. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing my pantry. It's definitely a working pantry. We cook most of our meals from home. And um, yeah, that's how we save money. The pantry is pretty much set up for about a year's worth of stuff. And I've been doing it for a while, so you get better at knowing how much to buy of each one thing. I think I got it down pretty pat for our family. 
And Ken, uh, he told me the other day, he goes, yeah, he goes, you can finally got it down after 30 years. Now all these kids are gonna move out. <laughs> <laughs> It'll just be the two of us and you won't know how to cook or anything. <laughs> won't know how to shop, won't know how to cook. And I said, well, I guess we'll just have to make reservations then. <laughs> but anyway, this is what works for our family currently with um, all of our children still at home. I hope you enjoyed watching the video and until the next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Mm -hmm.